Okay, so maybe you're messing around with something like Google Cardboard and you want uh, a spherical doodah so that it works sort of like this. This is the one I knocked out with the Dream Cathedral model that I did back in the olden days for FXPHD, to the interior and exterior. Um, the the proper version like for the for Android moves up and down as well. You can look wherever you like, right? And you're thinking, mm, okay, and is it any good? Well, actually, uh, the VR stuff, I, I didn't think it was going to be any good, all right? <laughs> I've got to admit. But when I, I picked up a Google Cardboard thingy, right, and it's actually really bloody interesting. And you do not feel like it's just a spherical image. Um, there's another video that I'm covering about doing something with proper VR, but this one's the easy way, right? You can turn any 3D render you've got. And this is probably one of the shortest videos you're going to see. Now, this is in Mental Ray at the moment, right? But every single render engine out there has this one thing you need. Now, I've basically stuck a camera uh, in this old scene here, right? Just doesn't matter where it's at, as long as it's somewhere that's interesting. So if I take that there and I move it round a bit, if the keypad allows me to bloody take all of it. Now I change that, uh, if I made a free camera like that, I can then move this around, you know, so you can see the stuff to look at and there's some interesting shadows and blah, 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 right? Okay, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. If I render this out at the moment, I've got it set for uh, 640 just because it's quick to render, right? So it's look like that, it's noisy as hell, but it'll do for a test, right? So what we do on that, and watch because this is dead, dead simple. Seriously, this is so simple. It's another one of these really short ones. Tell you what, let's just go mad and have a 1280 one. Normally if you're running these out, I would say go for a 4K image because when you uh, when it's wrapped around the sphere, um, you'll get uh, you'll see all the pixely bullshit, right? And it does magnify and nice, so it's nice to make sure they're nice and clean. Right, so renderer. Uh, go down with all this shit. Don't need motion blur, don't need contours, go to lenders, go bosh, and then go wrap around. If you're really like interested, what does wrap around do? Well, it wraps shit around. And you know what? There are no parameters in it. That's it. So now all you need to do is go clickety click. And you'll notice there I've got this big sun and sky, Mr. Sun and Mr. Sky. So that was for them. And there you go. You basically save that out. Um, bring it into a spherical scene um, or if you've got it on your phone just save it um, give me a second I'll show you the right here's the format you basically send it email it to yourself or something right if you don't want to write an app in unity and it's got to be like this panel in capital letters then an underscore then normally I'll you know you got six numbers I just put whatever right I can't remember what the 20, what happened on the 23rd of, was that September? Um, 1976, but obviously I thought it was important at the time. Then just add six numbers afterwards. But remember, you've got to have your dashes and stuff. It will then recognize it, the internal app, right? Um, so all we need to do is save this one out, right? I'll just do that, which I've just done. Uh, in Unity, dead easy to do, right? Uh, what you have is a sphere, like this, right? Now I just stick that out there, you see you've got your sphere. Now what I've done is I've put on this uh, a self-illuminating diffuse, right? Now my actual, uh, what's its name? Under, is under here somewhere, I can't remember where the bloody hell I put it. Because it's been a while. But yeah, you basically drag your, um, I'll tell you I'll do it in there. If I can find the damn thing, so I've just put it there. Right, so you just drag that into wherever the hell you're keeping it, right? Um, which it will do in a second. There you go, right? Then you just drag that into your sphere material like that, the illumination. And uh, when you're inside it, you can actually see it and it works, right? And it looks perfect. So there you go. That's how simple it is. In less than 4 minutes and 30 seconds, how to make one of those things. All the render engines are capable of that. Every single one of them. So there you go. Simple as that. Bye-bye.